looks like I'm here a little bit too early. I don't think the uh, I think my fuel guy's here yet. Looks like I'm gonna have to sit and wait for a little while. VP man. This is the uh, local drag strip. Okay, so I have the oils all drained out and I got the plug back on. I got the engine topped off with oil. I got the old fuel filter taken off, got the new one on, and I have the fuel line that comes out of the fuel tank is still disconnected. I, that's what I have late, disc, um, hanging off to the side in that plastic tube that I drained the oil through. Um, and my drain bucket is, uh, right down there so and then what I have is my air hose with just a blow nozzle on it I'm just gonna wrap the rag around the tip of it stick it in the fuel tank and just bump some pressure in there and let that push the fuel the old fuel out of the tank Okay, out with the old, in with the new. I got the fuel line hooked up to the fuel filter. The uh, All the old fuel is out. And apparently that thing really holds a lot of fuel. It um, was reading just up off the E, so I figured, oh, this won't take long. I'll get this blown right out. But um, that little pail is um, probably close to two gallons, and I filled up almost two of them. So, man, wow, I, I didn't expect that at all. That's close to... Probably three or four gallons I took out of the daggone thing. Pretty clean new fuel. Lasts a lot longer than that, that crap from the pump. Smells good too. Okay, so I just drained the oil out and put some good oil back in it. That was um, some oil, it's from a local refinery. And uh, it's uh, here and right up the road. I'm, I'm in Maryland and it's just up in PA. So I don't know where at in PA, but it's uh, Bradford, Pennsylvania. And the oil's called Brad Penn and uh, it has higher levels of zinc and phosphorus in it. And uh, it's sold as a high performance oil. Uh, what I used was a semi-synthetic. I actually just found that out. I didn't notice it on the bottle. But um, it has more lubricating uh, capabilities with the zinc and the phosphorus that's in there that um, the newer oils, they have been slowly removing as uh, vehicles get increased with um, their emissions controls on them and um, something about this stuff that there's those uh, elements in the oils that has to do with clogging or interfering with emissions controls so um, I like to use that I switched over to it on this all this stuff that I have now because uh, it's all older and doesn't have any emissions controls on it so um, so we did that put a new fuel filter on it and um, I put good gas in it um, early on in the video, I had a clip where I was going into the local drag strip where my fuel guy is, and I use what's called a MS-98L. It's from VP Racing. That's their number for it. And um, non-ethanol, of course, and it's about a 96, 98 octane, somewhere in there. I'm not sure. And um, so we switched all that over and started cranking her over and it's making some funny noises and I noticed it the other day when I had it running and I, I just noticed you can't really see it now but there's some wetness in here and it um, when it first started trying to fire I was getting smoke out of here and um, you could really hear it puffing so we, we've got a blown head gasket so we're getting ready in uh, next video on this thing we're gonna be taking this guy apart 
and uh, get this head off and take a look at this gasket. So here we go.